Freshies, welcome to Fresh, hosted by everybody. Hey, what's up? I'm Sammy Johnson, and you're watching Fresh TV. Bola Vinaka, and welcome to Fresh. My name is Kautia Tora, and I am the co director of Wehi Fiji. We're here in Suva City. Pacific Dance, and while we get ready to do some Siva, let's check out what's on the show today. It started when my dad was working at the airport and he came across one of the black sticks, the time called Karampawe. It's really hard to understand that some things just aren't any of your business. Hello, my name's Wayne Fa. I was named after my dad, so everyone knows me as Junior Fa. Cobra Kai never dies. Um, um, home and away. Oh, home and away. Oh um, pass, pass. Oh my God. Malolele, my name is Lulu Toila Talava. I am the first Tongan black sick, and you're cooking it with me on Young, Gifted, and Brown. <laughs> <laughs> It started when my dad was working at the airport and he came across one of the black sticks at the time called Karampawe. She told him, try get your daughters into hockey and so he decided he'll get us all into hockey. So I started playing and then my younger sister and my younger brother, we all started all playing hockey, which was quite different. And then, yeah, that's where I just started to love the game from the age of five. She's a part-time clown, so that's why um, she's got it. It's pretty crazy to think that I was the first Tongan player to be in the Black Sticks, but also special because it's like I won't be the last. So it's something that could be a pathway for other young Polynesian kids that want to play hockey. One thing everyone loves about Lou is that, like, she's the absolute life of um, any group that she's in. Just shocked that she can't run out of things to talk about. Um, honestly, three years later, she's still just coming up with things um, for us to unpack. Nice. Um, training with Lulu, so she's actually my best friend. Just put that out there, Lou Brock. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so she always brings positive energy. Um, she's such a love to everyone. <laughs> yeah. What's it like training with Lou yourself? It's no. quite. <laughs> family in Tonga, they're quite proud of me and I'm also proud of them. But yeah, they're real um, active on social media, so they're always like sharing posts and always being number one fans from across the event Tonga. So yeah, really grateful for them. So today is the New Zealand Heritage Tournament and it's the first time that the Pacific team will be playing and competing in this, so we'll be up against the New Zealand Māoris, New Zealand Development and New Zealand Indians. But she can see the whole field in front of her. So if she tells you to release and go, you go, she's got that fight. If Lulu pushes up, Chris pushes up. So I've been appointed as the captain, which is quite surreal because I'm not usually the one to lead the team out there for other teams. So this is quite special for me, but also like for my family, especially my dad. It was the reason why I got into hockey. Every Saturday at like 7 a.m., because we would have 8 a.m. games, he would take me to the games and he would just give me his little pep talk. And it was like that moment where you're like, you have to play well because you don't want to drive back in the car and then get told off. <laughs> 
I think those little moments were quite special because I was able to, you know, have, have that time with him and also like go to a, play a sport that we both like enjoy. He enjoys watching while I play, so. My dad will be commentating today um, for our game. Um, he's also quite nervous, but yeah, it's his first time. <laughs> he's been practicing at home. <laughs> Turned on the league and trying to say, should I sound like this or like this? <laughs> We're cracking up. I've well, been roped into be a guest commentator um, of, of Louis, Louis' game, and I have no idea how to commentate, what to say, and when to say. <laughs> But um, I'll give it my best shot, and if it works, it works, and if it doesn't, I'll be on the sideline tomorrow <laughs> cheering. Highlight for me, first of all, will be making the Black Six, the New Zealand Black Six. So that was something I worked really hard for, and to be able to make the team was something really special for not just me, but also for my family as it was like a collective journey. Another highlight would be playing in the Hockey World Cup in 2018. So that was very special for myself and my family and all the other people that helped me to get to that moment. So yeah, it's got a lot of good credit to all of them. These also produce fantastic art because I actually uh, play a bit of piano. You know, I, I play a bit of piano here and there. Josh Nene is best known for which catchy beat? Savage Love. Josh well Nene. done, Simon! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. When you're 152 weeks deep into your ex-partner's social media profile, maybe take that time instead to find the contact number for a therapist. Go heal. Go deal with your trauma. Hey, what up to all our peoples all around the world? Hey, this is Flo's here from Wellington City. I represent the foot soldiers and make music go see it all. We always keeping it fresh. Big shout outs to Fresh TV. Bo! What's up, what's up? It's the Bonner with Tim Sip Dawn. It's the Dawn Ray Kids. We're watching Fresh TV. age with all this technology and so much more access to other people's lives like never before it's really hard to understand that some things just aren't any of your business so if you're one of those people who just can't seem to keep people's names out your mouth or if you find yourself having an opinion on other people's lives ask yourself did they ask did they did they did they really are you a therapist do you have the Right qualifications to be giving the advice that you're giving. Are you getting paid? What's your salary? <laughs> Tip number one, take a break from your phone. Yes, before you post that think piece on immigrants in the New Zealand Herald comment oh, section, gosh. instead consider taking a break from your phone. It's time to start. Similarly, when you're 152 weeks deep into your ex-partner's social media profile, maybe take that time instead to find the contact number for a therapist. Go heal. Go deal with your trauma. No! Tip number two, worry about yourself. If you find that you struggle to keep your opinions to yourself on things that don't particularly affect you in any way, shape or form, like <laughs> men talking about women's rights, <laughs> instead, maybe worry about things like your job, or your ganga mea, or your gout. She's got a point. Tip number three, get a hobby. Yes, to keep you from putting your nose where it shouldn't be, consider taking a hobby up. Like maybe joining a book club. Go to housing with your nana. Go to your youth group. Do your ganga mea. I'm pretty sure Jesus said, what was it, what was it that he said? Mind your business. Mind your business. Yes, yep. Absolutely. It's in the book of uh, minding the business that pays you, <laughs> verse 13. So remember, the next time you find other people living in your head red free, 
Mind your business. Hello, my name's Wayne Far. I was named after my dad, so everyone knows me as Junior Far, uh, the professional boxer, and this is Did You Know? I grew up in a house with uh, four other siblings, so there's five of us all together. Um, I have one older brother, two older sisters, and then there's me, and then one younger brother. Everyone knows me as a family man. I have a wife and two kids, and one on the way. <laughs> One on the way. Grew up in Papakura, whole life. Uh, and did you know, I'm still the record holder for the under five 60 meter sprint in Papakura. And I went for a walk over there maybe a couple of weeks ago. I still got it, still got it. So any five year olds out there ready for the challenge? Hey, you know where the track is. <laughs> Going into the athletics track was something that we like kind of grew up with. My older brother was the man at sprinting, so I always brag about my records being at the um, athletics track, but my older sister and my older brother, they hold multiple records on the track. So second thing about me that you guys might not know is that, um, as you guys remember back in the Joseph Parker fight in February, uh, I walked out to Don't Worry, Be Happy, and that's one of my son's favorite songs. You know, he. He's got a few that he listens to, but that's one of his ones that he loves and it makes me happy as well. And so <clears throat> um, as a fighter, walking out to a to a ring, especially with that type of capacity, especially being like the underdog and the guy who's like supposed to lose, the best thing for you um, in that situation is just to remain calm, as calm as possible. And for me, that's thinking about my family, that's thinking about my son, and that's being happy. And so that's one of the main reasons why I chose that song. It's just so I can also feel relaxed walking into a very hostile environment. Um, also, my son has autism, so there's a high chance that he's probably not even gonna notice the fight. But if I play his song before I walk out, there's a chance that he might actually, you know, stop and listen and watch his dad. So yeah, so that's one of the reasons why I've done it too. With my son having autism, and with um, autism in general um, being such a huge part of society, um, it's kind of overlooked. Uh, you, you, you don't really know autism unless you like, really like dive into it, or like someone really close to you has it, then you kind of learn what it is. But if it's not around you, then you don't know at all. Um, and so I am a passionate advocate for it. And I try and bring awareness to, you know, autism towards other people, just so that they can understand, especially our Tongan community, especially our um, Pacifica groups. Number three, uh, everyone knows I got hands. If everyone knows I got hands, but also these hands aren't made just to, you know, knock people out. These also produce fantastic art because I actually uh, play a bit of piano. You know, I, I play a bit of piano here and there. Well, my first teacher was uh, my mum. So my mum, she's the one that actually plays piano. Uh, I think she's the only one that plays piano in our house, like properly. And then there's my little brother who's like really, really good at piano. Even though I didn't know how to read music, I still played piano at my primary school. So for the, um, so for, for different plays and for choir, um, I would either be in the choir or I would be playing the, uh, playing the keyboard along with the um, play or, 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 or just alongside with the choir, which is something that not many people know, yeah. Thanks for listening. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now you know more about me. What is The Rock's real name? My uncle, uh -huh. Dwayne Johnson. That was correct, Mount Albert Grammar. Well done. But I don't know if The Rock knows that you are his nephew. Kia ora! Oh, it's Ara and Snow from the band Tomorrow People.
available and you're watching Fresh TV. Woo! What's up, Freshies? My name's Troy Tuua and you're watching Fresh. Yee! Let's go. Salo for Lover, my name is Nains and I am your host for our special secondary schools battle of How Fresh Are You? Where we find out if our studio contestants are fresh like roses or stink like you. First up on my right, we have Tully and Millie representing from the Lion's Den, Mount Albert Grammar School. And on my left, we have Mackenzie and Sarlesi representing Hardcore North Shore, Rosmini College. Our first game today is Rabbit Fire. <laughs> Ten questions, first to the buzzer. Here we go. Josh Nene is best known for which catchy beat? Savage Love. Josh well Savage. done, Sarah! <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> Our next question is, the origins of bungee jumping come from which Pacific island? Mount Albert Grammar. Samoa. No, it's not. <laughs> Nui. You're moving further and further away. <laughs> Max. Can we get a clue? It has something to do with Van's shoes. Vanuot. Yes, it is Vanuatu. Well done. Well done. Okay, our next question. Which Pacific shot putter has won two gold? Oh, Mags was quick to that Valerie one. Valerie Adams. That is correct, Mags. Thank well you. Done. Thank you. Thank Valerie you. Adams. Thank you very much. Our next question is I know your guys' schools are well known for dancing. So, Harris Goebel is known for which dance studio? Mount Albert Grammar comes in first. The Royal Fat League. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Though! Rosmini. The Royal Family Studio? <laughs> no! Oh. The Palace. Correct! Oh. <laughs> well done, now. Crowds up. Thank you. You saved your dance room. Oh, rhythm. thank you. Okay, teams. Our next question is, what is the name of the earth oven used in Fiji? Mount Albert Grammar. Umu? No, no. No, it's not. Oh. That was the wrong answer. Over to Rosman. Have a guess. That's a stink guess. So the answer I was looking for was Lovo. Oh, oh. Lovo. Oh, acting Lovo, like Lovo. they know it now. <laughs> Our last and final question. What is The Rock's real name? Oh, that was a close one. Buzz again quickly. OK, oh. there we go. <laughs> there we go. There it is. My uncle, uh -huh. Dwayne Johnson. That was correct, Mount Albert Grammar. Well done. But I don't know if The Rock knows that you are his nephew. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> our winners for this round, yes. please give it up. Yes, thank Albert you, Grimm. thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, our next game, where we give you a famous movie line and you tell us what it is. Take me, Hollywood. Okay, Mackenzie, you've only got a minute to do this, and you have to do it in the voice of Patrick <laughs> from SpongeBob SquarePants. Your minute starts now. Avengers Assemble. Avengers. Correct. To infinity and beyond. Oh, um. Just go next, just next. Oh, a whole new world. Oh, beautiful. Next. <laughs> When you use a bird to write with, it's called Tweedy. Come on, Salesi, you know this. 10 seconds. Remember me? Though I have to say goodbye, remember me. <laughs> he has no idea. <laughs> Stunning work from Mackenzie there. Rosmini, you got one out of five questions. <laughs> Okay, the answers we were looking for to infinity and beyond. Toy Story. Oh my. A whole new world, Aladdin. When you use a bird to write with, it's called tweeting. Moana. Oh, remember me, though I have to say goodbye, remember me. My favorite movie, Coco. Oh. He doesn't know it. Well done, give it up, give it. <laughs> Millie from Mount Albert Grammar. In the voice of SpongeBob SquarePants himself, your one minute starts now. 
No one goes beyond the reef. Um, Moana. Oh, I just can't wait to be king. That sounds um, like SpongeBob. Um, pass, pass. Cobra Kai never dies. Um, um, home and away. Oh, home and away. Oh um, pass, pass. Oh my God. Wakanda forever. Wakanda, experience. Um, 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 keep going, keep going. Um, the Lion King. Work um, on the exit. Oh pass. Some people are worth nothing for. Some, um, um, I'm frozen, frozen. Oh, I just can't wait oh, just to be queen. Nice, SpongeBob. Um, the <laughs> Lion King. Yeah. Uh, ah, time's up. Unlucky. Oops. Well done, Millie. That was great work. The worst SpongeBob accent ever. <laughs> now, now, but Grandma got three out of five. The two answers I was looking for, though. Cobra Kai never dies. Cobra, Cobra Kai. Oh. And from Wakanda forever, Black Panther. Damn. All right, give them a hand. Going through to our semi-final round. Well done, now now the grammar. We do have a couple of gifts for you guys. A couple of T-shirts, Westfield vouchers. Please enjoy that. Thank well you. done, Thank much. You. Rosmini. We can't let you go home empty-handed, even though you're lost today. Well done. Well done. That's us for today. Join us again next week for some more. How fresh are you? Let's go. Well, that's all we have time for, ladies and gentlemen. Special shout out to my mom, my dad, my brothers, all my family and my friends, all the beautiful... And to my family, my uncles, my aunties, my cousins and... Alright, that's enough. And this will be our tribe. And you're watching... Fresh! And catch you next week and remember to keep it fresh. Bella for Lover Freshies, I'm Matt Brown. Kia ora, I'm Sarah Brown. This is Young, Gifted and Brown. What does it say? Oh my god, here's a look. Oh, the scandal! She's shady. What is a waka toa? So in the times of old, generally, our waka toa were used to transport our toa, or our war parties, from one part to another, or to war.